Hi, it's Handy Val. In this video, I'll be talking about the ASR light. The ASR light is one of the most difficult problems to diagnose on any 1990s era Mercedes. The solutions for it are typically cheap and many of them are doable for the DIYers. The problem is which solution to apply. An ASR light is usually accompanied with the car going into limp mode. The car will still drive but at much reduced speeds. It will be barely drivable, dangerously drivable. Besides the car in limp mode, you'll know you'll have an ASR problem because your ASR light will be lit. You can see it here on the instrument cluster. So in this video, I'll cover some of the most common fixes for the dreaded ASR problem. ASR stands for the acceleration slip regulation, sometimes also called anti-slip regulation, and it's really a different name for traction control. And we're all familiar with the term traction control as it's a common feature on almost all modern cars. The ASR when working provides better traction for when the car is losing control. And on these 90s Mercedes, it does this by reducing engine torque and ABS also plays a part. It's this reduction in engine torque that is typically referred to as limp mode. ASR is something most Mercedes R129s were equipped with. I think the very first production year, 1990 and maybe 1991 model years, did not have it, but most other models do have it. Any Mercedes with an M104 engine variant will also have ASR. So many W140s and W124s have ASR. An ASR light that has turned on may not always be something related to the ASR system, making it, as I said earlier, a tough beast to diagnose. Another thing to note about the ASR light, you may have it on, but you may not notice any drivability differences, but sooner or later you will experience the limp mode. Sometimes it can take minutes after you notice the ASR light lit, and sometimes it can take years before the limp mode gets triggered. Limp mode means that the car isn't able to go over 40 miles per hour or about 55 kilometers per hour. Reading codes from the car's computer for the ASR is a must. However, cars with K-Jetronic won't have codes specifically for the ASR, whereas any Mercedes from the early 1990s onwards do have codes that will help with the diagnosis. But those codes aren't always definitive. So in this case, in this 300 SL, we have a K-Jetronic injection system. That's where you read the codes. But those codes are, there's nothing specific about the ASR on this car that those codes are going to give me, but they may provide some guidance. So in this video, my hope is to guide you through the common fixes for the ASR. If you think about the ASR for a second, it has to do with acceleration and braking. So many of the fixes are related to these two things. It's common that both ABS and the ASR lights will be lit at the same time, but not always. A lot of what I'll be getting into is applicable to most cars, but not all Mercedes. So take what's applicable to your cars only. Number one, first try this. Unplug the battery for 20 minutes. Then turn the car on, and with the steering wheel, you're going to go lock, all the way lock, to lock, to lock, to lock. Number one is as simple as it gets, and it can be successful, so please try it. I've heard of many success stories from this simple steering wheel action. Number two is the brake pedal switch. There is a switch connected to the brake pedal that may be faulty and cause ASR. In this case, you just replace it with a new one. They're relatively cheap and relatively easy to replace. Number three, attached to the braking system, behind the brakes is an ABS sensor, sometimes known as simply the ABS sensor or speed sensor. The sensors can become dirty with metal shavings and may simply require a cleaning. There is a process to clean these. If the ASR 
only comes on after the car has started moving forward, like at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, then this could be your problem. If the ASR light is always on, then the speed center very likely is not your problem. Number four, there is an ASR pre-charge pump. And it's either in the driver's side wheel well behind this plastic or underneath the brake fluid holder. This pump works with the brake fluid. The pump has a few metal gears that over time can get gunked up. This doesn't mean you need a new pump. The pump just needs to be removed, opened, and the gears cleaned. It's a messy job as you're dealing with brake fluid. Number five, the electronic throttle actuator. This is a common problem in particular on the early 1990s V8 equipped Mercedes, like the 500 SL. These throttle actuators can be rebuilt. They are expensive to buy new if you could find new old stock, as I do not believe they may not make these any longer. Also, related to the throttle actuator is the throttle potentiometer. The V8 potentiometer can go bad, but they're fixable. On the 300 SL, for example, the potentiometer is not something that's fixable. Number six, the accelerator cable, also known as the Bowden cable in some cars. Sometimes it loose where it has too much play or too tight, and it isn't working as it should. You can try minor adjustments to it and see if the ASR goes away. Typically, it's in this, this area and you'll be able to see it removing the air filter, etc. on your version of the car. Number seven, if your Mercedes came with the biodegradable wiring harness, then it could also cause your ASR problem. So you'll want to be able to rule it out. An OVP overload protection relay can also cause an ASR light and the ABS light to turn on. The problematic OVP can cause other symptoms too. The OVP is typically situated in this corner. It's actually underneath this plastic here and it's quite easy to remove. But first off, what you want to do before you even think about replacing it is just to check that the fuses in here are of working order and make sure that they aren't, they aren't broken. Number nine, the steering angle sensor may need replacement or fixing. This can be a problem if you have both ASR and ABS on. If only the ASR is on, then likely not that this is your problem. This is somewhat related to number the number one fix, which I have on the list, which I mentioned you know, by turning the steering wheel from left to right a few times. Number 10, and I should have said this earlier, sometimes a weak battery, yes, a weak battery can light up the ASR light. It's rare, but it's possible. You want to make sure you test the battery first and replace it if needed. A weak battery will cause a number of faults on any 90s era Mercedes. So always a good place to start when diagnosing anything, meaning is that battery still good? And sometimes it could be as simple as cleaning the connectors or that they're actually not tight enough as sometimes corrosion can build on them. The list I provided in this video is meant to be a guide. I point out that there's a few things that can make the ASR light turn on. If I were you and you have the ASR on, try the simple things on this list first and then take it from there. If you've had the ASR light on and fix it, let me know in the comments. I'd like to keep this video and its comments as a source for all of us in the future. It would be great for the Mercedes community to have such a handy reference on the ASR light. On the screen, you'll see another diagnostic video on modern classic Mercedes. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Handy Val.